circle of control. We control our reasoned choice and all acts that depend on that moral will. What's not under our control are the body and any of its parts, our possessions, parents, siblings, children, or country. Anything with which we might associate. Epictetus, Discourses, January 22nd, 10. His is important enough that it bears repeating, a wise person knows what's inside their circle of control and what is outside of it. The good news is that it's pretty easy to remember what is inside our control. According to the Stoics, the circle of control contains just one thing, your mind. That's right, even your physical body isn't completely within the circle. After all, you could be struck with a physical illness or impairment at any moment. You could be traveling in a foreign country and be thrown in jail. But this is all good news because it drastically reduces the amount of things that you need to think about. There is clarity in simplicity. While everyone else is running around with a list of responsibilities, a mile long things they're not actually responsible for you've got just that one item list. You've got just one thing to manage, your choices, your will, your mind. So mind it. T. January 14. Cut the strings that pull your mind. Understand at last that you have something in you more powerful and divine than what causes the bodily passions and pulls you like a mere puppet. What thoughts now occupy my mind? Is it not fear, suspicion, desire, or something like that? Marcus Aurelius, Meditations, 12.19. Think of all the interests vying for a share of your wallet or for a second of your attention. Food. Scientists are engineering products to exploit your taste buds. Silicon Valley engineers are designing applications as addictive as gambling. The media is manufacturing stories to provoke outrage and anger. These are just a small slice of the temptations and forces acting on us distracting us and pulling us away from the things that truly matter. Marcus, thankfully, was not exposed to these extreme parts of our modern culture. But he knew plenty of distracting sinkholes to gossip, the endless call of work, as well as fear, suspicion, lust. Every human being is pulled by these internal and external forces that are increasingly more powerful and harder to resist. Philosophy is simply asking us to pay careful attention and to strive to be more than a pawn. As Victor Frankl puts it in the will to meaning, man is pushed by drives but pulled by values. These values and inner awareness prevent us from being puppets. Sure, paying attention requires work and awareness, but isn't that better than being jerked about on a string?